Magenta Pixie, who has about 75,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, uh, recently put out a video that uh, timelines are all... Do you know what a timeline is? Uh, the best way I can figure out what timelines mean is you have to go way back to, mm, I'm going to say probably the 1970s, maybe 1980s, when there was a British sci-fi show called Doctor Who. And um, I'm not British and, you know, we didn't get Doctor Who in Canada. Well, sometimes it would sort of appear here and there on like very fringe stations. It wasn't a big budget show. It was really low budget. So most of the show was you using your imagination in this. There were the storytellers telling you things so that you could use your imagination to get into this show. And Doctor Who was a time traveler. And Doctor Who also uh, changed um, bodies. So, um, what has that got to do with timelines? Well, that's what you do in, in time travel. If you go in backwards in time, and you already lived, let's say you already lived in the 1980s, but you get in the time machine today, and you go back to the 1980s, and you live for a while in the 1980s, there's two copies of you living in the 1980s. Which means you've got two timelines of you in the 1980s. <laughs> and so the story goes, um, <clears throat> apparently there have been quite a few time travelers. And um, the more they go backwards in time, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same effect if you go future... But anyway, if you go backwards in time, you create these multiple timelines. And um, the famous time travel puzzle is, what if you go backwards, back in time and find yourself? And what if you shoot yourself? I mean, shoot the other copy of you. So let's say you're, let's say you're in your 30s in the 1980s. And then you're in your 50s or 60s when you decide to go backwards in time. So what happens if the 60-year-old version of you shoots and kills the 30-year-old version of you? Do both of you die or just the 30-year-old version of you? And does this change time? Well, that's an extreme measure, but what if you're, you know... You just go back in time and um, you go into a grocery store and uh, you're hungry. So you um, buy a package of pre-made sushi and you eat it. And then you go back in your time machine and you come back to present day. Theoretically, just you eating that sushi could majorly change the original timeline. So when Magenta Pixie is talking about all kinds of things going on with timelines, um, well, who is she getting the information from? She gets those, the, uh, her spirit guides are called the Nine, and that's who tells her what's going on. Um, I'm going to take it that the spirit guides are not in our physical world, and she is receiving them telepathically, is it true? Well, if I was a betting man, I would bet definitely time travel exists. And I would bet that someone went back and ate the sushi. Whether someone actually went back and killed a version of themselves or someone else, that's kind of like... Um, I think that's kind of the way that the Donald Schwarzenegger 
movie, Terminator movies were about. It was a long time ago since I saw Terminator. Anyways, what's supposed to be happening now is uh, a lot of these uh, fudged timelines are being wrapped up so that we can um, merge them all together and have one timeline moving forward. Does that mean we're not going to have uh, time loops going back again? Uh, I don't know. They're trying to clean up these old time loop timelines. Who's they? I don't know. Maybe it's Magenta Pixie and her nine. I don't know. Do you want to go back in time? Maybe there was a certain Super Bowl that, um, you know, you didn't go to live. And, you know, thinking back on it now, it's like, you know, if there was one Super Bowl that I really wanted to see, I wanted to go back to 1975 and watch the 1975 Super Bowl. And I want to watch it live in the stadium. I don't know, it gets very fuzzy.